start with Chris. Add a dash of sport, squeeze in some music, then shake, don't stir. And you've got the ultimate blend. Esther Till I Die TV. Good evening. Hello. Bonjour. Hola. Guten Tag. I think that's all the main ones covered. How the devil are you all? Welcome back to another Eurovision review. One that I've done twice already, but one that YouTube keep insisting on taking down. <laughs> With all of my YouTube ones, I do not ask for it to be monetarized because basically, um, you know, it's not right because I don't want to be taking money out of the uh, the art, you know, the, the composers and the artists' mouths. Uh, but yeah, it's been taken down twice. Who knows? Who knows? Look, I'm feeling very patriotic. Um, so we're going to try again and have a look at um, May Muller. And I wrote a song. <clears throat> now, I'd never heard of May Muller, but then again, I'd never heard of Sam Ryder. And wasn't it brilliant of Sam Ryder to uh, just change our fortunes last? Within 12 months, we'd gone. We were like Leicester City. It was like Leicester City, but in Eurovision. We'd gone from being bottom to being top at one point. Well, at the end of the jury votes, we were. Uh, Ukraine won it. You can obviously argue as to why and about the song, etc. But at the end of the day, they won it fair and square. Um, but of course, unable to host. So they went to whoever, whoever had finished second, which happened to be us. With had a few lean years, can we say that? I think we can. A few lean years in Eurovision for the UK. Um, we'd had Sam Ryder, uh, no, we had, we'd had James Newman, uh, with um, Embers, which finished at uh, with no point at all. Um, and 26 out of 26. It was a shame because he'd done the one before, of course, with the contest, which was banned uh, in 2020 not banned but it was cancelled due to covid um my last breath and that actually was a well i think a better song than embers uh but it was cancelled but of course we couldn't have a song contest that wasn't on film or on a screen because you know it isn't just about the music is it it's about the performance but I think about the music could they not have done that and just done it as a radio show? That's what we're voting on. It's a song contest. Look, don't start me off. Before that, we had Surrey and Storm, which again um, came in, well, two off bottom, 24. Got Actually got 48 points. Uh, that was the one where she was attacked on stage, um, but declined to, uh, to, to, to do it again. Uh, before that, we'd had a few classics, hadn't we? Joe and Jake with You're Not Alone, Electro Velvet, Still in Love with You, which I actually quite liked, <laughs> sadly. And who can forget Bonnie Tyler's Believe in Me or even Engelbert Humperdinck's uh, Love Will Set You Free, picked because he was big in the Eastern Bloc countries. Yeah, that worked out, didn't it? Um, <laughs> but look, <laughs> and who can forget, who can forget Cry Baby from Gemini. I try to. I try to forget it. Our other no point uh, on the on record. Um, but look, Sam Ryder was picked last year, last year. He was a huge, big uh, star. He'd, he'd done a lot on Instagram and was known. He'd got loads of followers on Instagram. So he was well known before he went into the competition. And he was sourced by, <coughs> excuse me, just take a drink. He was sourced by TAP, the same group or agency that has sourced um, May Muller. She's come from the same stable. And I was a bit confused about this one, but uh, her full name, Holly May Muller, she was born in August 1997. She will not even remember the last time we won the Eurovision Song Contest, which was in 1977, but in May of that year, with Love Shine a Light by Katrina and the Waves. Who can forget that? 
Uh, it was actually the best song, and they got the most points ever at that point with that uh, particular voting system. Um, and she was born, like I say, in 1997, so she would not, uh, she would not remember us winning it at all. Um, that might not be a bad thing. But look, she's a 25-year-old singer and songwriter from London, and it says here in her Eurovision bio, she writes honest, sassy pop music. She co-wrote her Eurovision entry, I wrote a song with Brit Award-nominated songwriter Lewis Thompson and Karen Paul. It was written for the likes of Kylie Minogue, Lily Allen and David Guitea, as well as being a founded member of Alicia's Attic. I remember them. May's been writing her own music since the age of eight, wow, and was working at a pub as a teenager when she landed her first publishing deal. Uh, she's released since then two EPs, landed millions of, view, millions of views on YouTube and TikTok, and has over two billion streams and supported British girl group Little Mix on their 2019 tour. In 2021, May scored a top 10 US hit with platinum selling single Better Days with Naked, um, that was the group, that wasn't what she was wearing, and Polo G, which she performed on TV shows including Jimmy Fallon and The Voice US in 2022. And she's also been nominated for MTV, EMA and VAM Awards. And she's got her album coming out this year. So my God, she's got the experience, she's got the views and that's the thing. You know, gone are the days when we used to put the likes of Cliff Richard up or or, or Lulu, <laughs> Clodagh Rogers, are living on people that obviously were known worldwide. Um, not saying that that's obviously going to make any difference, but it seemed to last season, last year. So, can it be done? Well, my worry is the first time I heard this, I didn't like it. And I know. I'm of the older end generation, and I, I, you know, I can remember the likes of, you know, Books Fizz and Brotherhood of Man uh, and Gemini and Sweet Dreams, and I could go on and on and on. Uh, two boy, two girl, etc. But the thing is, this, I'm, I am old, and this is modern music, I guess. Um, and I, I wasn't sure, I'm going to admit, I wasn't sure they're exactly the same with Sam Ryder. Uh, the first time I listened to that, I thought, mm, don't know, don't know, and it grew on me. I've listened to this now so many times. It gets in your head. When you've stopped playing it, it's there for the next 10, 15 minutes. No, 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 no. You just cut it. It's still there, you see. I've got anything else in there. But let's have a look at it. All I will say is, I get it's a modern song. Could you not pull your jeans up, uh, May? And will you get your nails filed? <laughs> because uh, a little bit worried about that. I'm not going to lie. Okay, here we go. See what you think. This is May Muller, the United Kingdom entry for the Origin Song Contest 2023. Take it away, May. You said you were leaving To work on your mental health You didn't mention the cheating You kept that one to yourself I got so mad was gonna cut you out Outside your house For everyone to see Wanted to trash your friends Tell all your friends How cruel you were to me Instead I wrote a song about how you did me wrong I could have cried at home and spent the night alone Instead I wrote a song, I feel much better now Me and my girls are out and we all sing along Instead I wrote a song i 
Instead, I run it so well. How you did me wrong. I could have cried at home and spent the night alone. Instead, I wrote a song. I feel much better now. Me and my girls are out and we all sing along. Instead, I wrote a song. Look into my eyes, she's feeling good, she feels alive. So don't you call my phone tonight, tonight, tonight. No lie, got a kick, telling the world just what you did. I'm better now, I burned the bridge, raising a glass, taking a sip. Let's celebrate, dance it away. I thought my heart would break. Instead, I wrote a song about how you did me wrong. song. What did you think? What did you think? Um, it, it's a tapper. My toes were going or my feet were going all the way through that. Um, he had a bit of a rap in there as well, uh, a bit of everything thrown in. Uh, I mean, it will depend where it is chosen because, of course, we don't have to go through the semi-finals. And that's the problem with a lot of things that go through the semi-finals. They have an extra viewing that uh, we only, you know, Britain, Germany, the big six, so to speak, only uh, get to be seen once uh, by the public. But it depends. I mean, there's a lot of factors go into it, you know. And I'm looking last season, um, last season, I keep saying that last year, uh, United Kingdom, we followed Australia, and that wasn't a strong song. Um, although we'd followed Sweden and we'd followed Moldova, who were top 10, we had Iceland in there. If you follow a lot of iffy songs, you stand a better chance if you get an upbeat one like that. I like it. I can say it has grown on me. That is my worry. It needs to be promoted. And I believe she's over in Hungary, I think it is at the moment, uh, helping to promote it. It needs to be seen. It needs to be got out. But then again, I've seen so many on YouTube that haven't been banned um, that I suppose all of them these days with, with YouTube do get um, do get seen. The one place we don't want to be drawn is second because nobody has ever won it having performed in the final on second. Um, na, 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 It's there. You can't get rid of it. It eats away at you. Um, and the, even the rap. I hope it does well. I think it deserves to. Um, it probably book break the BBC if we win it again because <laughs> we'll have to host it. <laughs> when Ireland won it for three times on the trot, was it? It nearly bust RTE. Um, I'm giving it a very strong nine out of ten. Uh, and I would have given it ten, but I think we've got to be careful. Well, I've got to be careful. I don't mean seen as being biased, uh, obviously. Uh, I do like it. I'm, I'm going to go for nine on in the honest place because I didn't like it on the first time I heard it. So, 9 out of 10. That is May Muller. I keep wanting to say Molly May, but I'm stopping myself. That is May Muller. I wrote a song. UK Eurovision 2023. We're going to be back uh, sometime during the week. The next two are Portugal and Ireland that we'll be, we will be reviewing. Um, Ireland, of course, strong history. Strong recent history in the competition. Um, what are they going to come up with this year? I'm hoping to have an Irish guy on to uh, judge it with me. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, do you agree with me? Don't you agree with me? Stick your marks out of 10 in the comments below and let me know what your votes are for the UK. At the moment, it's joint top with another one that I gave 9 to. But thank you very much. That was, like I say, Molly May. 
This has been Lester Till I Die TV. I've been Chris. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that like button. Click the notifications. And if you're feeling generous, one ninety nine a month, why not join the membership? Thank you very much. Take care. Au revoir. See you soon. Bye.